The stage was set for the final match of Japan 2019 as England took on South Africa in the biggest game of all. The last time these two met at a Rugby World Cup was in the 2007 final where the Springboks ended victors in a trialist 15-6 tussle. Who would triumph at International Stadium Yokohama? Could England claim a second title or would South Africa lift the Webb Ellis Cup once again? And we are rolling on the World Cup final from Yokohama International Stadium. South Africa v England is in play. And Pollard goes deep with a kickoff. Now with Youngs. He'll look for the clearing box kick. Youngs. Looking for touch, not getting in. It's grabbed by Vermeulen, who was a powerhouse in South Africa's win against Wales in the semi-final. And already the England fans belt out their rugby anthem around Yokohama International. But the penalty goes to the Springboks. Courtney Lawrence is getting caught on the wrong side, but already South Africa showing they're going to be physical tonight. Here he is, Pollard. This time around, though, he's pushed it across to the right. Young's holding it up for the Tyro, the young Tyro, Tom Curry. Again, Young's keeping it in the field of play with a box kick down to Mapimpi. Mapimpi bounces his way around his own runners and then carries hard as well. There's an England player down and not looking great. The clerk is going to have to stop and come back. I think it might be some friendly fire. Sinclair, along with Atulji, just catches Atulji's elbow. And he will, at the minimum, Sinclair be off for the HIE. So he was out before he's hit the ground, Carl Sinclair. It's good to see him on his feet and make his own way off there. Someone's going to have to get in there and start shifting for South Africa. Or have they lost it? It's going back the way of England. Now they look to shift from their own danger zone. Not even green! The ball is here! They get a five away. That settler will enable Youngs to look for the box kick. Pollard is back, Mapimpi up in the line. Promising start from South Africa. Putting the ball through the hand, and now England do just that too. Farrell floats it wide and long. It's brave stuff from England. And now they bounce away through May, who is quick. Up over the 22. Outside. Settled through Laws. From behind their own try line, England. Now to the boot. Down towards Pollard. Needs some support. Goes to the skies and has Mapimpi landing a hand. Pollard goes up and leaps. The man underneath, Pollard. Sparkling play from the flyer. Murira. The beast towards the six. De Klerk. Dalinde. Dalinde. As always, punching hard and getting metres post contact. LaRue loses it. It's picked up. But we're coming back. Oh, what a passage of play. KG opening two minutes for the last three minutes has come to life. Andre Pollard out leaps four, just couldn't get the offload away. And eventually scrambling under Hill with a good hit, dislodges the ball on Willie LaRue. The second engagement is better, and again, South Africa get the shove on, and England get loose across their own poles. Pollard goes in and makes the stop shot. And now the penalty for the Springboks. They swarmed. They got all over the top. And they have won. An absolute gimme of a penalty right in front of the poles. Channel one, Billy Vanapola, the ball is there, he gets on the outside, just a simple pass. Goes to nobody, and then just watch Dwayne Vermeulen. He's over the ball, supported by his captain number six. So strong in that position. And that man there is delighted. And it's a give me three points to South Africa, and they deserve this after the opening seven minutes of play. 
Pollard with a chip shot, nails the first three on the board in the World Cup final. Laws grabs it, now they peel away, George delaying the switch for May. May bounces his way over the 22, Youngs, Youngs delays the pass there for George. Where are their big ball runners? Curry, Curry gets buckled there by Kulisi. Farrell, flat for Vuni Pola. Finally gets a handle. Now his brother. No, no. Dropped on the spot. Okay. That was Marco. Laws leaping over Mbanami. He doesn't look great either. He's not a hundred. On we go though with Daly. Daly looking to release Watson. Mapupi with a key tackle. Nambi's out of the defensive line. Ford onto Billy Billy Pond. Light keeps it light for Marco Vinopolo. Side to side and our numbers across to the left. Key tackle from Colby. Shuts that threat down and now another penalty for England. Timed it brilliantly, didn't he, Colby? Gets to his feet. Then he's off his feet. He can't play that ball. He needs to release. Just uses a hand just to knock it back. But this was the carry from Laws. Guess over the game line. Just head on the wrong side. Knee to the head, Mbambi. Now on Farrell, the skip, juicing the clock, and then locking us up. 3 3. So some changes at hooker for South Africa. Marks is good in the middle there. And now they creep forward for Mullen. Happy to continue to drag it along. And now the penalty advantage and Vermeulen picks and goes. Diesel Dwayne gets it. Ten from the line. De Klerk looking for options. Connecting with the captain. But Aurea rides his back. Moster holds it up. Pollard. LaRue. LaRue flat from a pimpy and it's no good. Four passes a call and we're going to go back to where the scrum took place, penalty, South Africa. Just watch Dan Coley goes aerial. So much pressure on this pressure. side, number 18 for England. Just the power of Marks pops up. There he goes. Pollard takes the scoreline for a walk again. Billy Bunapola. Great carry, Youngs, Youngs holding up for Underhill, Underhill inches away, penalty advantage coming here for England, Cole at the back, Cole goes backwards, now pops for Youngs, 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 Peter Scepter toy puts him down, now they go short side, still the penalty advantage, forward, forward for Laws, Laws shows good balance to stay alive. The phases keep coming. Curry for Mako Vunapola. They keep whacking away. Billy Vunapola drilled by Marks and Mostert. Youngs. Short side again. Two along for Laws looking to release for Ford. They wrap him up. Youngs. Mako Vunapola. They keep. Jack hammering away, Billy Vunapola. Somehow the green wall stays intact. Otoje, Otoje stands in the tackle. Cole at the back, Cole. They're almost over the line, Youngs. Billy Vunapola is on this near side with Curry. They go to him, they go to him. They go to him. But he's dropped again. Desperate from South Africa. Now they put it through the hands. Daly over the top for Watson. Watson. LaRue holds on. South Africa hold on. Still with England though. Now Farrell. He's put down. Somehow the Springboks send England backwards. Laws. 
Rawls gets chopped. Dalende as he's done all tournament long with a stinger to court around the corner. Now, penalty advantage for Ford and England for Farrell. Farrell floats it over the top. May, May trying to blast his way through to Alonghi. Back to where it all began. It's exhaustive. World Cup final rugby from both sides. Now they come wide again, England. Daly, Daly. Pops it up for Curry. And after all that, we'll head all the way back. One, two. For the initial two penalty. In the I don't know how they can sustain One, this. That was ridiculous. Farrell. And with that penalty goal, becomes equal. Tournament top point scorer. It is 6-6. Six, six. We can't split them. Slow, and they're told to use it by Jerome Garces. The clerk. LaRue. Pollard. Dummies. Pollard gets through and then shoots it out the back end. Would you believe? Billy Vuna Pollard ambling back says, I'll take it. Cheers. But now back with South Africa. And the long ball for Dalinde. Dalinde holding it up for Kulisi. Mapimpi with the early handle, the early release from Sia Kulisi. He's got to get back and tidy up the ruck. Marks. Yeah, from Wait. the side. So we come back here, penalty. We're heading back. It's a Springboks penalty. He stepped the tie in the inside, and there he is. Billy Vuna Pollard. Just watch for Mulan over the ball. He's brilliant for a big man in that contact. It looks wide. His base is his feet. Green from the side. Big steal. He's taking a well earned breather. Hopefully, it's not too much damage to that shoulder for Vermeulen. Pollard drawing it back. Pollard has clubbed it. Stay strong. Stay strong. Strong. No move. No Here they move. go with a scrum. No and they're edging. They're edging. They're edging and winning the penalty to Clerk. Pollard. Dalende looks up. Dalende holding it up now for Arm who cuts his way back towards the midfield. Lovely ball from Mostert who pops it out and we're going to come back to the churn turf to the mark. Oh, they just cannot yeah, cope. Dominant. This England pack with the power. The beast on this near side against Dan Cole. He's had a torrid afternoon. This to make it a six point game. Pollard! It's good! And right on half time, the score. 12 points to six. They work it hard. Oh, it's a domination. Under the pressure. It is a total domination. Under the pressure under at the scrum with South Africa out muscling England for another penalty. This will be Andre Pollard's hardest shot at the poles tonight, the longest. He has bombed it through. <laughs> Youngs, the scrum better from England now, and it's their penalty win at the set piece. They've been stung into action. Is this Joe Marley made a difference since he's come on on that loose head side? Brilliant scrum from England. And what a momentum changer that could be. This to stay in the fight. Nine points, the biggest deficit they've had tonight to be down against. And up steps the skipper. Here they come. The spring box. Dalinde, midfield. Look at this pocket of giants. They look to stand in the tackle and maul their way. And now the penalty advantage. That's so clever from South Africa. De Klerk, De Allende, short on runners. Pollard floats it wide for Colby. Has to go low. Chez and Colby still finds a way to cut in field. May goes high on him and will go back. What about this setup? Explain this to those catching. For the first time offside, it'll be the call on the second occasion. But the setup for the well, mall. Ben. So smart. To rehearse move, they go early and just watch. They hit up right. with the landing. Just offside. all the forwards congregate after this hit up. But if this is actually the advantage they've gone for. 13 white offside. 
And just this is the mall, the driving mall. It's Colby being pushed into touch. Pollard to make it 18 points by his boot. Smacks it through. The Mullen traced from the restart, but it took three to do it. And now the penalty with England. And a chance for them to walk three off again through Farrell. Let's just see as he hit. Early, is, good. is he down? Is good. Perfect timing. From the side. Manu Tuolangi with a great hit. Dan Coley's happy. He's had a tough afternoon in the scrum. Penalised Mark and Marks for coming in on the side to clean. This two take. Three off the deficit and he just squeezes it. To the right. Quick pull away from the base of the scrum from De Klerk. Going away from that attacking weapon that's been going so well for the Moster. Now they go through the phases. Marks. Met front on by Slade. Mark! Snowman. Change the point of attack late there, and it's messy, but still with the box. Pollard. Forcing it, going Not himself, that. ups and goes again, cheeky metres from Andre Pollard. No, LaRue in behind, looking for Peter Steftatoy and Mapimpi. Daly's back for England. He has two green and gold jerseys on him, driving him towards touch. The territorial gain there for the box, but now the ball back with the English. Billy Vunapola taking it up the park and it's Young's coming in. Young's down towards LaRue. Good tackle. A great tackle was from Wilson. Um, McPimpy. McPimpy putting him behind for Um. Um. Look how you are. Back to back is only McPimpy. Oh my. Skinny. Brilliant play, they work the short side, good hands from Marks, but just the calmness. Blacan your arm, take and give so casual, it's just a cup game. Absolutely brilliant skills here from the spring box, and this is the last pass under pressure. Gives it nicely to the guy who just can't stop scoring, tries the sniper, and that's what the coast get up. To Alangi. That's Luke Cowan Dickey. England desperate for some of his try scoring prowess here. Daly, good pick up and go. Colby comes back and gets him. Lost by England. And South Africa number up well across to the left, but they'll go to the booming boot of Franz Stein, who is hoping his side can hold on and he can get his second World Cup. Winner's medal, he did it in 2007. He's the only man left on the field for South Africa. Looking to do that, Franz Stein. Sets up at fullback. Vinny Pollard back there for Cruz. It has been immense all night long, this South African defence. Can it hold on here, overrun on the outside, and then Joseph is chopped low by you know who, Damien Dalende. Youngs to Marla. Marla throws himself towards Moster. Now they come back in field. It's popped up here for Wilson. There's just no way through. Across the park they come and losing it. Arms there, pops up for the toy. Here comes Cheslin Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence, beats one, still going. Cheslin Colby, Cheslin Colby, South Africa, the World Cup is theirs. To a man that they've made their tackles count.
They've got the chance there are marks. Big hit from the replacement hooker. Detoy, only one thing to do, get into this man's hands, one on one. Gets away far, one of the best defenders in the world, stands him up and he's over KT. Well, Chislin Colby, remember is running on one ankle, couldn't go last week in the semi-final. Can go in the final, Chislin Colby is top shelf. We've got to go back to that first half as well when he made the try-saving tackle on Courtney Laws as Bongi Manambi and the rest of the crew watch him over the closing metres. Francois Pina, that way, son, that way. Oh, brilliant scenes, really is. Yanchis. Yanchis, they swing to action. Through Pollard, Pollard, almost splitting the defence. Yanchis, skip ball there for Snayman, who throws it out the back. Yanchis, cock, cock. Itoje stands Let strong. Leave it wide. Leave it wide. Cole told to release. Mostert. Mostert going over the top. Yanchis. Snowman again. Finishing strong. Peter step to Toy. Detroit. Itoje continues to make his tackles. They're in vain. No as we get nearer way. and nearer to full time. Kitch off. Yanchis, 10 seconds out now. They're about to create history as the only team ever at a World Cup to lose a pool game and go on and lift the biggest prize of them all. South Africa, a World Cup winners in 2019. Full time, and it looks like this. South Africa, 32, England 12. South Africa, the best team on the planet. Sia, just tell me when the final whistle went, what were your first thoughts? I was just grateful, I was grateful for everything that uh, the team has, has been through, you know, we face a lot of challenges, um, but you know, the people of South Africa have gotten behind us and we are so grateful for the people of South Africa and you know, we have so many problems in our country, um, but to have a, a team like this, you know, we come from different backgrounds, different races and we came together with one goal and we wanted to achieve it. I really hope that we've done that for South Africa to show that we, we can pull together if we want to work and we achieve something. Our time is done here at Japan 2019. We hope you have enjoyed the Rugby World Cup's first trip to Asia as much as we have.